good morning there. You're watching QTV this morning, and I am your host, Jenna Bosonko, joined by my extremely amazing co-host, Ibrahim Abalde. Thank you so much for joining us, and good morning. Good morning. We are back again on another edition of This Morning, mm -hmm. Bato Dem Bato Coste. I mean, why am I singing this since morning? Bumo you get wavy morning. Ah, Buji Zulbi. Bato Dem Bato Coste. Hamgaman Bugu Mayefi Defante. Exactly. Why is it? I don't even know, man. Violent, violence everywhere. Violence, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Because you are not even when I was on my bike. But I don't know. You are not even my bike. But I don't know. You are not even on my bike. But I don't know. But I don't know. Unless you are not negative. Why is it positive? You are not even on your bike. So you miss your opportunity. There's always man no la ko dey gisi bato dem bato coste moy if you miss so try ben opportunity nga am ko si positive light la ko nek dey gisi right now moy ne you try something it doesn't work try something else it will work li su deme do hot su la rombe ben opportunity bu ñewé romba la ben dina ñoo coste nga ñun xam nga ñun the rationality behind it ñun ñun fuñ dé xalaté moy tay for example your tay your tay nga nek a suma suma jabar tay Mark you, you get, although we are working mm -hmm. on it, we are we are working on getting married. Wow, wow, wow. Buneke ne te dem na bene hatu keren yo sila la bug de one ne bato dem bato coste. Wow, no lang kode gisi. So full lang kode atache lo lang de min. Wow, wow, wow. Ham gare bo bu negative li bila. Wow, so ko bu ge hold positive eye. Danga ne rek ne opportunity bi nyo na roman. Well, it's talking about you know taking your chances. Well, but 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 literally, but but it's a coffee. Come now, go away. Coffee buy salo. Coffee water tea palace. Tea water palace. Lola de. Ah, di na yung lafarom ba? Moneke fi oranga yafal harpurtan mom. Well, yafal harpurtan. Yafal harpurtan. Okay, yafal harpurtan. Tan yo leka ko. Well, hana degu lo yun na jine bubuge dahar kuyeg dano. Tay na mo all of all de. You tell me no no a word. Wow, di tell. Well, anyway, na kasi weekend. Buma ne butik bina. Tell dar la ya. Buma ne butik bi. No, we can be mom. Si ay tijik ka ubi la neko. Dahte Saturday bi mangi busy. Sunday bi mom final ba jil suma time. Hey yo, na kung gawdun de. Dama prepare final bi. Final bi musuma gis final. Bunne kombi. Ne hona de. Wow, man since. But I started to remember final. Mm. This is the greatest final I ever watched. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know what it is. It was half. Mm -hmm. Argentina was playing very well. Wow. They played in less than 25 minutes. You scored two goals. Mm -hmm. So, in the second half, you mm -hmm. knew what you know, France equalized. Mm -hmm. You do two. Si Guide them. You do at extra time. Argentina do three. Mm -hmm. Three, two. In the second half, France knew what it was. Why a France and Mbappe bobo? Kilian Mbappe bobo. Man Mbappe sa Mbappe. Why Mbappe do you must have your Gambia? No, fogo makore. Why? Why what na you do? Why that Kilian Mbappe is good? Why what na for you? No, why wala dey? What na? You kenya inya? No, no, boom yo, boom yo, boom yo. Let let them. Man, actually, Argentina la don support. Why? Why boom a deme? Bediga diga. Hamga nit. Danga wata na kisa hell. Why? Madam besi diga mahalat mane diga diga. Ah, 23 year old B. Argentina winning the why boy be playing. Boy be playing. So, so much state we see some Messi last don't have. Why after? Man, I know. Why am I jail ban? I'm back to death. But for the man, how much money? In as much as Cristiano Ronaldo, ah, them would see final. Ronaldo, baby. Me, me, mama, what? Me, mama, Daniel. In as much as Cristiano Ronaldo, them would see final. Why man see man Cristiano Ronaldo? Them not see final. Be like Maluta. Maluta. Mbappe be more mag. Dinga gis ne nega biyep Cristiano Ronaldo la fatai. Picture si Cristiano Ronaldo. Mm. La tay si ni gambe bam day. Be pare fuñ ko interview like ko kuy sa role model. La fane Cristiano Ronaldo manam, manam, lu wahud Messi. Manam Ronaldo moy idol am. Wa lu ta wahud Messi. Bu don Messi moy god bi diga diga. Hamga Messi. Bu don Messi. moy god diga ta. Ham nga Messi problem bi moy. Ñu bari dañ ko iñaan. Because Inyan. dañ ko iñaan because Messi ham nañ ne mom moy baby. Dede du baby. Messi is the goat. Goat la. Ñep ham nañ ne mom moy waaw Cristiano Ronaldo moy the goat. Understand now why Messi is the greatest of all the goats. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> Momo is the greatest of all the goats. Man, how many more are man? Guess what? Cristiano Ronaldo, more good. How many other man more good? Cristiano Ronaldo, press direct. Ah, lundi defsimom. Hold Cristiano Ronaldo. You guess what? Lundi. 
yow gis nga lum dunda muy play match ñu kol ko ne ko papam de na presse bi amuñ dara lu bax pour wax ci mom de always hunting him hola timam bi lan lañ ko def hola ci wol cop bi tamit li 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 portugal sen coach bi def war nga ko dugal depuis force half se nga xar ba second half bi meté nga dugal ko pour changes bi am su ko telo na dugal time bi ni ko non mom jël na cop bi wala ne lañu wax ci da nga gis ne sa he bi lañ wara bay ko ni kadi fight kon bu nekké so gisé ci walum football di nga gis ne messi cristiano mën na de nobody can deny that he is a great footballer why da nga gis messi messi do they make any effort mom he is naturally gifted football talentam is unique skill sami dañ gara da nga gis messi moy kata kata yu beuri no he doesn't do that messi da fa tek nga lifin mu yobu la ni mu dem yonam te num bala nga yek fekka skona la mom nonu la mel xam nga he short and short people are full of problems ah, cristiano ronaldo <laughs> be bare dega na ñu ne he is very approachable mashallah ñu ne cristiano ronaldo no man seeta na video yo xamne amna ñu ko approach mu bama sen ay telephone lolu amul amna amna te messi seeta na ay video yi nga xamne ku ñoo dafa taxaw mu ñu man gis na ko sama jël ben xale fop ko lolu amul nañ dugg ci african proverb lolu duma ko nangu cristiano ronaldo dal is very approachable mashallah yalla la yalla la fal chat good di good fim ne kan ni let's go and take a look at our african proverb what is it tell us wow african proverb ba ngi ni de lum read moy mu ne all monkeys cannot hang from the same branch all monkeys cannot hang all monkeys cannot hang from the same branch dimbale len ñu suñu guest bi dugana de mu ñew tok bu ga nañ mu interpret li da fa bu ga daw suñu african proverb bi waye ñun duñ ko nangude all monkeys cannot hang from the same branch indi len ñu suñu guest bi gaaw ci dum gëna gaaw manam 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 golo yeb duñ mëna wéngalu ci ben chat ci ben chat dé naka lañ dé waxé branch bang has bang has wa bang has la tudd du chat so yo la na what's your take on it what's your take on this one well bi da bi da bang complicated bi bi nuro wut comme lu easy de manam manam ñu ngi woné comme let me take it in the aspect of new body problem wa new body problem wa ñoñu duñ len mëna def ci benn nek fok nga separate i mean you cannot put all comme so bëgge solution da nga try pour nga decentralize problem you don't have to put all in one house fo nga meuna decentralize solution ndanka ndanka nga ko ame mo neka ay golo xam nga golo mom su tie bang has va top di dal te bang bena bang has ñetti ñenenti golo suñ fa tie di ko top di dal bu yaagi rafa dama o ñu daanu wa so it's telling you solution soko ut dang ko def gradually ñun nak doomi adama dañ yaakamti ñun we always in a haste to achieve um you know a positive result it's telling you gradual process mo de dimbalé so man nonu la ko interpréter anyway man personally all monkeys cannot hang from the same branch moy si suma gis gis lay wax de um ñun ñep duñ def the same thing ya na sa wa suñ 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 gis bi woné na dugal wa wa yi ci programme de la boka wa so man lu ma nekk di won moy um stay welcome to the program said mm. mati said mati is the executive director of the center for research and policy development thank you so much for joining us so our african proverb own um is is all monkeys cannot hang from the same branch mm. but what it's showing me is that i kind of agree with what balde said as in mm -hmm. all of us have different opportunities mm -hmm. all of us have different things that we want mm -hmm. to achieve and it's further even showing me ne gambia is so open that kuneka can do something yeah. one person is not entitled to just one thing and come example when we go to university of mm -hmm, the gambia mm -hmm. often there's something that we used to say i don't know while you were there you guys used to say it then then the university of the gambia i'm out for second third position we are not competing among each other fufu no you are competing yourself because suñ paré ku nek ci different sector la mo dem it's not like ñun ñep dañoo dem liggéey ci bena parastata at the end it's going to spread out we are not all not going to hang on the same branch every this people are going to telecommunications this people media this people this this people that so the moment you think like that you do not see people as competition because you feel like the space is so open mm -hmm. for each person to achieve what they want to achieve and mm -hmm. there's no form of competition well man man gis na uh, like competition sir mm -hmm. in another sense bahna bahut because at some point mm -hmm. yo da nga halat di compete people right? wow. your competition benga fate de far sa bopa so i think why there's it, also wow. what we call healthy competition it's important why wow. healthy competition wow. it's because important because nitsa wow. nitsa palas boy liggey sa ah often you want to have 
somebody mm. who's doing extremely well that you can look at and yeah. use that to peg yo fan nga buga aga pour nga mon fa aga but you so feel it if you it's you it's you am lo ko compete da ale ze target line ko o e i mean why no it's called healthy competition da ga am sa point bo buga aga that's healthy competition that i love okay but for me competition mo i mean competition that is what we call competition a compromise um so when to compete because competition mo na nega throw up but when to compete and you know how you going to compete lot time da for important why fit me je say competition lu nega rek you know winner takes all mm. you know mentality bobu lañ am in this exactly. country politics even lolu mo fagena neka doñ xam kan lañu wara ñoo tok ñu waxtaan i mean but you know but for the proverb i really agree with the way you look at it mm. because pagna ne tamit that's how it's supposed to be i mean like people there, there is a lot of opportunity there mm-hmm. so whole you know where we are monkeys mm-hmm. mostly in the in the bush mm-hmm. there are a lot of trees I mean you'll never see a monkey fighting over another monkey over oh, one tree can mo nek di tie fofu no so people look at what is there and then explore the opportunity so yeah. for me I think that that's, that's it but competition in general I mean there should be competition there I like competition be. but of course when we are supposed to say in a million work together build consensus I mean we need well, to why 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 should there be competition mm. Mm. I mean let's put it in our way of life yeah. mm-hmm. come tay set matin mo nge dawal moto mm-hmm. man am um, mm. munuma afford lolu yeah gis nga competition bobu nono is not healthy no no bobu bobu man no competition lolu iñan am yeah, yeah, most of the time mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. dama de wone mm-hmm. man pour man i am not competing anybody wow. man suma bobu la nek di competition yeah. bu e bo nga da e man lolu leer na ma am nga sa ray da te yang ko da wal te ko bo la say mari i mean do ah. want start here di da wal suma ray da bi ni bari ñu ne mané no balle no ay yo moto nga wara da wal wahal ni yang ni ay nga ne lu habnga man ma xam suma post and i am not competing with anybody exactly o be pare said mati man ci lolu du compete lolu jalo sila suma ra da la de pi ni da wal ni munu logi said mati di da wal nga fi na o said mati moy da wal li man tamet hanga it no what is the sense of bada wal range be pare may dem di lep essence ah ku neka sa yor nga am man lolu la de wa ku neka sa yor nga so that's the that's the way be pare man i can't try to be said mati said mati mu sa neka jena ba so jena ba lolu dañ ko wara bay that mentality i agree totally pour ñu dem jena suma 100 dollars ci essence ni daw two days two days da nga ñewi da nga ñewi da nga ñewi for short break and when we come back we'll head right on to the newspaper review we'll be right back Optalia is a leading European brand which is now in the Gambia. Are you looking for glasses? Then you have come to the right place. As a first step, we will perform an eye exam to ensure we prescribe the correct lenses for you. After that, you can select the frame of your choice. We have a variety of brands in stock and you will definitely find yours. You can have the full package of Frame Plus lenses starting from $990 up to more for the most fashionable options. Once you find a frame you like, your lenses will immediately be edged by our lab technician. Within 30 minutes, you will be able to leave with your prescription glasses and a huge smile on your face. How amazing is that? Visit us at the Tropic Shopping Center near Senegambe from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day of the week or call us on 503-4411 or 7767123. Welcome back from that short break. If I just tune in and you're watching QTV this morning, our newspaper review guest is here Ibrahim um mm. said Mate the executive director for Center for Research and Policy Development now we take a look at what the papers are saying that is the voice this is the voice yes and it says um, some of the headlines it's gach reacts to ban on white sand mining jamme say no to force okay no no force can prevent his return to power and of Excuse course me. eyebrows rise at um, GT board and deployment applicant cries foul play and of course we also have human right abuse prevails in prison president baro says government will continue to provide enabling environment for gambian youth that's what we have yeah so this is the point um current scope of child protection is weak this is said by the boss of the CPA child protection alliance and also gambia seeks judicial support to try jamma era as well as um the gambia press union remembers day the hyderabad public lecture and the government rebuts 
Mayor Low maintains position on KMC and BCC project financing. Yes, I think that. And also, India says four cough syrups linked to child deaths compiled with safety specifications. And um, Gambian migrants intercepted at sea. This is for air. And also, Human Rights Committee observes long detention without trial. And survey shows high prevalence of child marriage in the Gambia. And court frees um, Sena Bumbai and two others. Um, I think that is all we have here. But to start with, this survey shows high prevalence of um, child marriage in the Gambia. And that's for air. And then the point is saying current scope of child protection is weak. Mm -hmm. Kind of saying the same thing here. You know, um, the laws are there when it comes to child marriage. Just recently, I was listening to a radio program mm -hmm. where somebody said, Papa, you can buy and you can buy and you can buy and you can buy you them say mm -hmm. at an early age when they're going to school they're dating among themselves mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then they're not allowing them to get married while they're going to school so i was like how do you see that argument because often when the issue of child marriage comes up that is what people argue well of course i mean you know these are social and traditional norms yeah. belief system and sometimes people link it to religion yeah. um, and, and i think um, at some point it's also very difficult for government to regulate like mm -hmm. you said there's a law um, that checks on child marriage, that checks on FGM, but at the end of the day, it's still part of the cultural norms and yeah. practice. So it's 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 gonna be it's gonna take time yeah. for people to be reoriented, and sometimes you know it's this kind of arguments that they bring in mm -hmm. that this is this is happening. But what we, what needs to be understood from this um, child marriage issue is that you know young girls when they are married, mm -hmm. you know you, you you get married, the next step of that marriage is childbearing, yeah. and then sometimes you know they are not only married to um to their eight mate yeah. but also married to an older person mm -hmm. and you know uh, children becoming responsible mm -hmm. um just like you know um uh, at, at a very early age so those are the uh, this particular child would not be able to um to do as expected in in in, in many instances mm -hmm. one they would um, be bullied mm -hmm. there's a lot of issues of um, um abuses that mm -hmm. they might they might also suffer we're not speaking as if everybody is homogeneous there yeah. are people that got married they are well taken care of but then if you look at it broadly yeah. i mean understanding child marriage in this country this is the kind of picture that it tends to paint mm. and funnily it's not even funny mm -hmm. let me take that back mm -hmm. sadly that's the right word to mm -hmm. use when i travel up country because it's youth dialogue most yeah. of the time yeah. when i travel mm -hmm. and i'm looking for youth to interview when they bring me the women that are the youth mm -hmm. in those communities I can't recognize them. Mm. These are people that I'm even older than. But when I speak to some of the um, community workers there, they'll be like, oh, these people were married off yeah. so early and not mm. taken care of. They lose their, you know, their skins are cracked. They, they don't have that support that, that, that they need at the end of the day. So, so it's quite sad. So one day is the issue of poverty. I mean, and, and, and for me, this is why I say this is the injustice. If there is injustice in terms of how the wealth of this country is redistributed, well, a, a certain segment of society, particularly mm -hmm. those in the rural communities, are neglected. Mm -hmm. I mean, then it, it, it also trickles down, or mm -hmm. it also shows the, the patriarchal nature of mm -hmm. the society, where the men will tend to benefit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the rural, everybody is poor. So the, the, the worst of the, the poorest would mm -hmm. be women, because mm -hmm. one, they don't have any means of accessing. Like in this urban area, people can giant to you know, maybe I'm surplus, like you know, but in well, rural no, communities, it, 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 yeah. Mm. So there are a lot of those issues, and then couple of you know add that to the issue of child marriage at a very early age. I have seen those, you know, most of my work before. Now I'm more into governance yeah. and all those different issues. But most of our work with safe hands for girls, we used to, you know, see and experience those kind of uh, kind of issues where exactly. young people are uh, got married at a very early age. Exactly. And, and then you can't recognize well, it's, them. It's good that people yeah. like Jainawa and uh, Action Aid are going around doing mm -hmm. um, certain sensitization of country. Yeah. I mean, um, the life there is terrible, and I, 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 you can attest to that. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a surprise that you said if they bring you the youth, you will be surprised that these people, you will think they are 50. Sumalane, sometimes, I'm a different thing. I'm a little bit like a youth. They are youth. They are youth. Some of them, they are in 1992, or 1996, or 1995. It breaks my heart. It's a common practice, and that's why sometimes I say that the law is not very effective when it comes to those issues. Then for me, the intervention, when you want to intervene, more on the economic side. 
-hmm. Because sometimes this early marriage and all those things is pushed by the, the fact that either family be is poor or they want, you know, they, they have to do those kind of stuff. Well, I'm mm -hmm. hate yeah. the family good, but then they have cut. Wow, wow. So, it's, so, it's it's economic, so there's an economic relation. That's there why is. I said uh, injustice, la, poor side B is better and then the other side is poor. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people will use different names for that. But for me, I feel that, uh, I mean, there needs to be intervention, particularly uh, women you have in the rural communities. Because one, their earning capacity is very low. Mm -hmm. And if, if they are able to earn money, you know, and have better economic opportunities, then things would definitely change. Mm -hmm. Ali marriage, you know, instead of forcing your child, you're already earning. Instead of sending your children to back way, you're already earning. So there's those kind of interventions you have in the as a country. But just I this agree. use sensitization. Sensitization can work, but mm -hmm. it, will it will take forever. So sometimes you need to intervene in mm -hmm. terms of what is the factor that is driving this. And for me, I see economic as the major factor. So push in the economy. So I may be social protection. Well, some, some sometimes tam, sometimes tam, it's the society come no mm -hmm. um send send structure mm -hmm. you know i'm not certain things you cannot deny mm -hmm. you know so those are things that should be looked at i mean those well, are things Martin, man, i totally agree with mm -hmm. what you're saying sensitization will not change the narrative over mm -hmm. there. i mean like we've it, been it, sensitizing forever yeah. now yeah. it's about government say okay there's a fund there's a rural development fund or whatever that you might call it and now they're concentrating on because gambia the ngajala feel one two three against poverty i mean like, come hold on Few minutes, not all the gets poverty mm. from Congo. Look at I mean, my dad. So there is, there is what we call urban poverty. Mm. But then the other issue for me, why is it that we need to intervene with girls? Because, you know, young people in terms of society, women, they are the biggest contributor to the economy, mm -hmm. to social well being, even the social structure, women, you know, you know, uphold. Mm -hmm. But then the issue of poverty, that's what mm -hmm. we need to remove. Because when you remove that, most of the social issues you have in the happen, you know, is because of tradition, culture. People will move away from that because you know sometimes it's the lack of um, the means mm. to do certain things. Mota, you just end up and say, well, later, you know, harama, you know, keep it to that. Mm. But I, I, I think uh, we need to start looking at women at a very early age, especially, yeah. as, especially when they are ten. People are life they come as a We used to do studies on those issues. You know, that's when they started getting married, getting recognized. But fee, even how they earn money and spend money, we don't talk about those things. Mm. So those are the things that we need to talk but about. Something very important we need to mention oh, wow. before we leave. Jame says no force can prevent him from his return to power in the Gambia. I mean, is he, really? is he dreaming? He can, he can come back. That's yeah, a question. I'm not going to send a message. When Jame is psychologically unstable, I mean, he should answer to the atrocities he committed. I mean, like, I mean, he's a citizen. He can come anytime, but coming to power, I mean, if he had that power, he would have state. at least um, state. And but contested Jame, another election. Jame is history. Mm -hmm. I mean, like this guy said, he needs to just come and, you know, um, answer to the accusations. For me, I think this is just distracting yeah, people, mm -hmm. trying to be relevant, but he's yeah. so irrelevant. And I have been arguing <laughs> that. Jame mm -hmm. is not rel no longer relevant mm -hmm. in our political discourse. And this needs to be clear. Mm -hmm. What? Who is Jame anymore? Mm -hmm. At this point in time, right? But that is not understood because there are still people with the concept. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's politics. I mean, he yeah. has done things. We yeah. cannot take those things from him. Mm. Like for us, we went to university and all those right. things. I mean, but that was his duty. But the violations that he has committed, has I mean, those are those has nothing to do with his work. Yeah, yeah. So those are the things that he needs to answer. I'm, for. I'm in fact surprised he's still talking about coming back to power. I mean, <laughs> returning really? to yeah. power. Yeah, talking about atrocities, mm. GPU remembers they the Hyder with a public lecture. You see violations and everybody knew what happened to yeah. them eh? you know so so these are the things that sometimes you know when you hear this kind of statement coming back you to power like you know you get vexed yeah mm. yeah <laughs> system b <laughs> money is system b. no it's the facade that you speak facade but in your capture no, i mean they i mean like <laughs> news letter, but is it really everybody is so it on but yeah. front page well, well it's on the front page but well. it's quarter i mean mm. it's, it's small page okay. but then the focus because the you know why jamie is still talking and all those things because what we are supposed to do we haven't done mm. and the minute we haven't done those things people will start comparing here and there absolutely so instead you know what the what people what the government supposed to do is to move and forward also and this is what the country mindsets needs. are have not even changed said matter you know why problem bunda of our health and this could them say to somebody well social media hey yeah i'm like please I mean, yeah, because because things are not being done the way they're supposed to be done. Because they, they now violations don't happen. People are saying it, it was legit because it had a 
had some sort of an impact in terms of deterring people. Why Legi is not? So the law is the law. If the law say this one should be arrested, it should be, it's the law. Wow. So arrest that person. But don't abuse the law, don't do anything wow. otherwise. Mm -hmm. So people need to, I mean, the state need to do what it's supposed to do. No, no. But if the state is not doing what it's supposed mm -hmm. to do, either fear any mass said material in your man, when I, where it is the law, mm -hmm. I mean, I suppose that I cannot change the law. It's mm -hmm. the law. It's the so law. if it then is the bad law, I will advocate and then you change the bad law. Mm -hmm. And so that's what the government needs to do. Change the law, change perceptions, change mindset. Well, and then move forward. Martin, do you think, I mean, they are serious of changing anything? I mean, at this, at this point in time, because we've seen people that are appointed, I mean, who were part of the previous regime. And you know, and we all know what happened in this country. I mean, that's, that's what we're talking about. I mean, sometimes um, in the beginning, I said all Gambians, even members of all the old, the old regime, mm. should come together to work. But people that violated people's rights, you know, know, those people need to pay the mm. price. And, and what that price is, take them to justice, let there be the due process of the law. But outside that, in terms of the politics, in terms of the change that we wanted, I mean, it's, it's like one step forward, mm. three step back. But but I am not your hamnes, and you want to take a new one. See previous regime, be why they go in and fan, and then death dara. Why to make an obligation? Why one resign? Because the book at times see, um, um, governor bo hamne, uh, you also bo palen na lane. Because nyom nyep they know what happened. I'm going to be problem. But then, but then the other problem, Monica, the government belongs to us. More than Monica, who violate, who hamne like because you cannot see everybody. You nyep we are part of the government. Why time bo bola mi no? Yeah. You bo kon neka minister safa. You know, I'm not a minister. 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 Then that dig to a you know what I want. You know why I call him there like hanga in a few more they avoid. What put new victimized people, you know, him that they haven't done much. That's true. Because if you can then use this blanket statement, then you know, everybody, yeah, everybody could be part of that. But you know, him that they name them, mention them. I mean, those people, if the law says that this is the way it should be done, it should be done. It should be. But thank you so much, Said Mati, for joining us. I don't know how I African proverb, but we made you involved. But thank you so much. It's always good to have you here. I think he's running away from the haircut. Kawar Bangas had a haircut. We knew what the haircut was. But anyway, we'll go for a short break. And when we come back, the program continues. Don't go anywhere. Talahad Gallery, in partnership with the Q Group Foundation, presents Contemporary Art from the Smiling Coast of the Gambia, an exclusive art exhibition featuring renowned Gambian artist Njogo Ture with Modu Boy and Abdurrahman Salah. We are using a traditional fair booth at Q City Grounds Bijilo every day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. from the 8th to the 30th of December. Come and browse, admire, and buy original and indigenous art for every space and taste. Join us in nurturing a creative spirit, proudly sponsored by the Q Group. Soon your boss, soon your art. Promoting entrepreneurship to build local content. Step into the Espas Motors showroom for your luxurious name brand vehicle. Located along the Bertil Harding Highway, Espas Motors is the Gambia's authorized dealer for Chevy, Kia, Ford. And now we bring you the new Peugeot Model 3008 SUV. 18-inch alloy wheels, 216 inches high ground clearance, keyless entry system, start and stop button, rear parking assistance system, reverse camera, adaptive cruise control with speed limit, LED daytime running lights, front and side airbags, 8-inch HD touchscreen. Not to forget our exquisite Peugeot Landtrek double cabin pickup with 2.1 liter diesel engine, six-speed manual transmission, four x four, Hill Descent Control, LED Daytime Running Lights. Espas Motors, the authorized dealer for Peugeot. Visit us today or call us on 35222222 or 3534444. Q-Money is back again with its easy to use, secure and convenient mobile app that allows you to carry out all your transactions. No matter where you are or what time it is, you can always access your funds. With the new Q-Money app, you can cash in and out, buy credit, buy Qpower, shop, make payments, and so much more. You can also send Q money, pay bills, receive international remittances, and transfer cash to others. Just download the app from your Play Store or App Store and get started. For more information, call Customer Care on 133. Q money, Sinu Calpe. We innovate, others follow. To make sure your company's products and services reach your potential customers, 
it is essential that you choose the right channel for your marketing purposes. QTV has the widest reach locally and beyond, and we can give your business the visibility it needs. Call QTV Marketing on plus 220-324-4444 or email us at marketing at qtv.gm and take your business to the world. Q Money, the biggest mobile money service in the Gambia, has taken mobile banking to the next level. Now, you can link your Q Money wallet with your bank account. Yes, link your Ajib or EcoBank accounts with your Q Money wallet and get instant access to your cash anytime. No need to queue at the bank anymore. Transfer phones from your bank account to your wallet or your wallet to your bank account using Q Money Bank Link is the fastest, most secure, and convenient way to transfer transfer funds between your wallet and bank account. For more information, call our customer care on 133. Q Money, Sunyu Kalpe. Terms and conditions apply. As the fastest growing GSM company in the Gambia, QCell has the widest 4G plus coverage in the country. Three times faster internet speed than our competitors. So switch now and dial star 335 hash and enjoy what true 4G feels like. QSOM, Gambia's trusted network. Medicalia is a high quality clinic from Europe, which is now in the Gambia. Do you have an eye problem? Do you feel a hearing difficulty? Medicalia is here to ease the pain for you. The first and only hearing aid dispensing facility nationwide, where patients can be tested and treated to recover from their hearing loss. Fit Welcome back from that short break. If you're just tuning in, you're watching QTV this morning. I am Jaina Basonko and here with my co-host Ibrahim Abalde. So now we're joined by the Office of the National Security and of oh yeah, Office of the National Security. And um, we're here with Marlon Kuli, Director Monitoring and Coordination. Mulai Kuli. Yes, Mulai Kuli as well as Marlon Jata, um, still from the Office of the National Security. But thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank, thank you. Yes, yeah, so update us on security sector reforms, <laughs> you know, which has been, I can remember wh when the new dispensation came, that used to be part of the national anthem that, you know, we had at the time, Constitution, mm. Constitutional Review Commission, we had the Truth Reconciliation and Reparations Commission, and then accompanied by the security sector reform as well, and hopes were high, you know, so just update us about some of the steps that have been taken so far. Mr. Malaya. Okay, thank you. Uh, when Andy started, uh, first we had an assessment mm -hmm. because what happened, we needed to find what, where, what went wrong, mm -hmm. and this was done in 2017. Right. And when that was done, the, the gaps were identified, yeah. and we came up with a strategy, mm -hmm. five, five point strategy. Mm -hmm. One was to look at uh, the, 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 the dictatorials, what uh, the legacy that was left by uh, Germany. Yeah. What went wrong? Yeah. So that what you are talking about the mindset. Mm -hmm. People thinking Jame was uh, everything. Mm -hmm. That was the mindset. Mm -hmm. So the other thing also that we look into, look at the the, the policies, because sometimes uh, we have uh, 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 laws that are outdated. Right. Imagine, for example, the Police uh, Act is mm -hmm. 1948. Mm -hmm. The prison a long time. Yeah. So that that was the other theme that we look into. Yeah. The other the other theme that we also we discuss or that we trying to address was. So specific uh, institutional uh, needs, like the police have their own need, the army have their, their own need. So then we came, and that was, that's why we developed what we call the national security policy mm -hmm. and the strategy. Mm -hmm. That will tell us, this is what we, our gamba we want. This is what we want, we are going to move from point A to point B. Okay. Many people were talking that we are not doing a lot, mm -hmm. because we were working on the policies. Happy because, that you mentioned. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because because you don't have any policy, mm -hmm. it cannot take you anywhere. Okay. So this the process of developing the process took a lot a lot of time. So and energy. 2017, 2018, 2019, yes. 2020, 2021, yes. 2023. Yes. Six. Yes. We got the right. policies. Now we are in the implementation of of those policies. Okay. So did it? Um. What is the justification for that policy to take six years? 
No, it is because the problem was mm. we had it there. What, what happened? One of the things that we, we, we did not do better mm. was the outreach program. Okay. We have done a lot, but many people don't know that is what we have done. I think this is the first time we are mm -hmm. coming on air, mm. okay. on TV. We have been on newspaper and so on because mm. many people don't read newspaper, but we have a lot of people on, on, on TV. Okay. That is the outreach that people should know that we are doing. Uh, like before, we don't have a Minister of Defense. Okay. That's Minister of Defense. Mm -hmm. That's reform. And uh, like uh, we talk about the, S the SIS, mm. the NIA, mm. we have not seen them be arrested. That mm. at least has, something has changed. Okay, so the minister, mm. the coming up, you told, you pointed at the coming of the Ministry of Defense. Yes. So can you further, wh what is it, you know, because we have an interior ministry. Y yeah. And then you brought about the Ministry mm. of Defense. Then, uh, so then what changes, you know? Then um, Jame was the Minister of Defense mm -hmm. and the pre President. Yeah. Now the two, of is this is now separated. Okay, now the so minister, the separation, yes. you know, what's the importance? You know, you said it's an outreach. We mm. want to delve into yeah. these things. The importance that. here now, mm -hmm. they have somebody whose main role is to look after the national defense of the country. Mm. Not the President has to do, a lot of things to do. Mm. But have a dedicated ministry that look into the affairs of defense. Then, then there is no micromanagement of uh, everything. Mm -hmm. That's a minister responsible. Was do, is, 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 uh, now we are, has served his time. We have a new minister also in that area. That has is is, is a good thing that mm -hmm. we, people need to talk about that. Before it was only one person who was doing the minister, the, min the minister of defense, the president, and other thing. Now the two offices are separated mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, we have implementation issues in our country. I mean, we talk a lot. I mean, I can remember when we talked about the security reform mm -hmm. in this country. I mean, um, it took almost six years and you are on the preparation. Yes. So now, um, are we serious to implement? Of course, we have the Minister for Defense. Yes. And of course, we have reviewed some of, some of the laws. Yes. But are we serious? In implementation. Yes, yeah, so Mr. This Jata can come in here. Okay. Mr. Jata can come yeah, in. We, we are serious in the implementation because there is political will from the government since uh, the Barrow government came in and uh, six they, years ago. Yes, they, they came up with the security sector reform. Mm. That means they, they felt that there is a need for reform. So uh, the reform, we cannot just go jump into it. We have to prepare. And then one of it is there needs to be guiding uh, uh, principles, which is in the form of policies programs and, and, and so on. So that led to the uh, development of the national security policy for the first time in the country. And then also we had the security sector reform strategy and national security strategy. Mm. So uh, uh, apart from that, that's at the national level. We, uh, also we have the defense policy that has been uh, developed. And now we, we, we on the verge of completing the uh, defense uh, national defense strategy that is going to uh, implement the defense policy. So uh, apart from the national level, the institutions also started developing their, 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 their reviewing their acts, like the Gambia Armed Forces Act, and then you have the, the Police Act also is being reviewed. The Prisons Act is in. All these are done so that we have the, the, some of those uh, acts that are in, uh, in tandem with the current realities, current mm -hmm. issues. Uh, because as uh, Director Mulai has said, most of those acts have been obsolete. Some of them, 1948, and, 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 and so on. So looking at the realities now, mm. and, and the time that those uh, policies are made is, 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 is far-fetched. Mm. So that's why we started with the developing of the overarching frameworks uh, so that that can be able to guide the security institutions. Mm. Yeah. So, so what, I, why, okay. why, why did it take too long? to do this Be because uh, like because you know we are not at the implementation phase yeah. we are just at document formulation changing policies yes. adjusting things mm. so is that too difficult is it because we had resource constraint is yeah. it technical know-how what is the problem or Be resource Be before that we don't have the office of national security before so it is as of well the reform process our role is for example like uh, to coordinate the efforts of all security institutions then each institution was working in silos they're working alone there is no unit or body that coordinates the work of all institutions. Mm. Well, for example, like what happened to in uh, America to 2011 uh, terrorist attack. Everybody was working alone. Mm. There is no center that coordinates. Mm. So now the thinking in reform is there should be a body that coordinates the affairs of all the security institutions. Mm -hmm. So when, when we are reporting, when you talk, it should be a unified voice. Mm. So the Office of National Security does that. So one of the, re the reform agenda or process that is, is done, that is good, is setting up the Office of National Security that is working. 
we are now working maybe by, by next year, we're going to have our, 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 our bill passed at the National Assembly. That will give us more power, mm -hmm. mandate to do what we're supposed to do. Okay, when you say powers, what, 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 what are you looking forward to? For example, now, bill? what we suppose is we are, we are the coordinating body mm -hmm. of all security institutions. Mm -hmm. well, for example, like if there's a problem, mm -hmm. We, we're talking about national security. National security, but it's not about physical, where you see the police officer with the, with the rifle or so. Mm -hmm. But anything that has no, food security is a national security concern. Anything that economy, bad economy is not good for national security. Mm -hmm. So our office is to look into those separate bodies, mm -hmm. put up together and advise government on what are the best way forward to able to, 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 to mitigate the efforts or, okay. or, or the problem. So let's talk about mm. capacity, Mr. Jad. How mm. good is the capacity of these um, individuals working at this particular office, which is the Office of National Security? Because it didn't exist. Yeah. Maybe the technical know-how is not there. Where yeah. are these people drawn from at yeah. the end of the day? Because we do not want it to be just an office yeah. once again mm. or a new ministry once again. Yeah. And we can't just track successes challenges you know that you're willing to tell us and everything so how where, where you know where, where's the capacity drawn from okay uh, uh, some of these uh, various departments that are that are created within the ministry is informed by the assessment that was done okay. and then from there uh, from 2017 the government through the president uh, uh, sought for support from mm. international development partners. Mm. As a result, uh, we were able to get uh, uh, experts from ECOWAS, okay. from African Union, mm. from EU, okay. uh, from uh, uh, from uh, all UN. The bodies, yeah. Yeah, all those bodies came in mm -hmm. to support. Mm. So at Office of National Security, then you have different experts that came in, okay. like my area policy and planning. We had uh, uh, policy and planning experts from African Union right. who were, I was able to work with. Mm. So during that time, there was transfer of uh, 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 knowledge and expertise uh, within, within that period. So I was attached to them and then I, I work hand in hand with them. So since it's a new program that is introduced, uh, that was the way that we, we started, so that we work with these international development partners mm. uh, through their experts, and during that time they were able to put, put us through. Yeah, how often do you, do you sit over this? I mean, it's important for you to, to push certain things. You just don't have to relax and until you are told to do certain things. How often do you push this? Because national security, it's very important. And aside from that, to mm -hmm. add on to that, how independent we know the National Human Rights Commission yeah. have yeah. is quite independent, you yeah. know, when it comes to certain things. But you, I don't know, you know, how, how independent, because pu for you to push something mm -hmm. and yeah. stand you your to ground, be, you, have to, you have to be independent to tell yeah. government this, 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 this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. in, in that, in that uh, what, what we do, uh, we, we in national security, the head of the office is called national security advisor. Mm. He advised the president on national security matters. When you talk about independence, it's, it's completely different for you to separate the two. Because one, you are working for the national interest of the country. They will, you have oversight body, like mm. national assembly, mm. that can summon anyone, for example, like they see the police, there are a lot of uh, things going on, they can summon the police to come over. You have oversight bodies mm. to do that. And we have also the, the like you said, mm -hmm. the ombudsman mm -hmm. also is there mm -hmm. as an oversight body mm -hmm. and the National Human Rights Commission. Mm -hmm. Those are independent bodies. But we are part of government. Mm -hmm. But our role is to advise the government yeah, on but national security. Even if you are part of government, yes. you know, ombudsman, for yeah. example, yeah. You know, it's part of government. Yeah. But w what do you usually do is, yes? because wh when we have reports, normally it's analyzed. And the analysis, when it's done, it's, it's, it's just, just plain the truth, mm. what advice. So the government understand that this is what we are doing. This mm. is what they, they should take. So, so this is what we usually do. When so you can give people advice, independent advice, but the, the person may take it or, or leave it. Okay, but uh, are there times where you've um, advised the president and then he did not take some of your advice? No, most of the time he relies on people out of advice. Okay. You know, when you say we, but for have example, you ever advised him something national? No, no in, in this instance, in, in this instance, for there. example, now, mm. because we coordinate, mm. for example, now, if you want to know the left, for example, you want to know more thing about something that's went wrong, that's a special unit that has specialized in those areas. Mm. He may refer back to those people and say, to find out. But normally what we do is, is analyze the, the report and give them and the options. You have A, B, C. This is, if you take this option, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. If you take this, what, what is likely to happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we look at the option A, B, C, which one is you can take. Mm -hmm. But we cannot say you take this option. You are Advice giving him options. Options okay. to take, which option to take, but okay. not telling you pick this one. Mm -hmm. All right, but generally, yeah. you, we all agree the process is slow. Yeah. You know, hopes were high. Yeah. 
And you, you are right. One thing one people you don't know. understand about SSR, it's not about also sending people home. People don't understand it's that. It's not about sending people yes, home. Yes, but, but, but this is the concept that many people understand. Yeah. It's about changing what is good, not good, and bring what but is good. But if the changes are slow, if citizens say the changes are slow, yeah. we don't expect you to run, but yeah. people will be like, oh, six years. That is why the yeah. outreach is important. Yes. This is limited time. So yeah. I am advising you guys yeah. to take air time. We have our marketing team. Okay. When you're going up, just go up, talk okay. to our marketing team. They'll okay. provide you, you know, they can, you can work together. Okay. They can, you know, even give you at a discounted rate okay. to come and take one hour full program okay. and tell us. We want to know. We have to know. If mm. the challenges are there, be honest. Challenges yeah. are here. Well, if it's yeah. not, if the political will it's not there. Is Political will is not there. If mm. this is not there, if something is, if there's something blocking you, let us know. You know, you like you said, you have not been reporting no. to us to tell us this and this and this is where we are. Yes. Do you have a communications officer though? Uh, right now, we don't have any communication See? officer. See? It was there. It was there. The ECOWAS supported that uh -huh. for one year. Then, uh, since then, you need a communications guy, officer to communicate this thing. If not, we will sit here and blame you. Yeah, that, but that's anyway, due to time constraints, we will go. But please, talk to our marketing team for a one hour or even 30 minutes okay. to just update us all. Okay. But thank you so much, gentlemen. Okay. I know there's a huge burden on your shoulders yes. because it's a huge task. Okay. But ju let's just keep pushing. Inshallah, we'll okay. get there. Okay. So okay. we'll go for a short break. And when we come back, we'll head right on to the person with disabilities um, advisory council has been launched. And we'll be joined by the chairman, Mo um, Magistrate Mohammed Kurbali, to talk to us about um, the importance of this particular advisory council. We'll be right back. Okay. Thank okay. you, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Self service right. has gotten bigger. E Fun Kanta. Now you can loan bigger credit amounts to make life easier for you. Loan seventy-five dollars and hundred dollars and pay later. Yes, you heard me right. Get credit loan from ten dollars to hundred dollars using E Fun Kanta by dialing star three nine three hash anytime you run out of credit. Whether you want to buy Q Power, browse the internet, make urgent calls, or send SMS, Efa Kanta is the service for you. Dial star 393 hash and choose the loan amount of your choice with no hassle. For more information, call our customer care on 111. QSEL, Sunyabus, the pioneers of mobile loan service in the Gambia. We innovate, others follow. Terms and conditions apply. Qcell, GSM company, minna yirwa teriata Gambia Bangkoka. Qcell la 4G plus network ya Bangkok bela mura. Andung ala interneto teriata sidula sabah katambi nyongola. Saun sahin, yesta 335 has kuman. Ya dati kemuna fang 4G sobe ol. Qcell, Gambia la network lana yari ol. Qcell one GSM company burdon jandu de ko leydi Gambia do e Qcell 4G plus coverage on buri yawde labi tati be be woni podo dirde ben woru dial star 335 has fi wawa na fitorade ko woni 4G Qcell network burado holorede ko leydi Gambia Save up to 50% energy with the new side-by-side -side Samsung refrigerator. Samsung air conditioners come with HD filter and antibacteria for your protection. Save time, energy, and effort by using our washing machines loaded with innovative features that offer superior cleaning technology. Step into the future of television with our slick and slim Samsung Smart TV designs. Sizes range from 32 to 85 inches. Smart LED, crystal UHD ultra high definition, and QLED quantum dark LED. 
Get new ways of interacting with your TV. Unparalleled vision, right from the comfort of your living room. Our products are backed with one year warranty. Visit us at Q South Building at Caraba Avenue or at Bruce Lee Turtle. Contact us on 333-3217 or email us at info at quantumnet.gm. back from that short break if you're just tuning in you're watching QTV <coughs> this morning Ibrahim and now we head right on to another segment which has to do with um, the Persons with Disabilities um, Advisory Council and we're joined by Magistrate Mohamed Kurbali chairperson of the National Advisory Councils for Persons with Disability so this was inaugurated recently and the Gambia National Advisory Councils for Persons with Disability is in accordance with the you know Disabilities Act uh, you know we're aware of that part of the, 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 the demands of the act now coming into life as um, this advisory council has been launched and all the, all the demands that will follow suit. Thank you so much for joining us, Magistrate Kurbali. Thank you very much. Glad to join. Yeah, so, so tell us. We see that the National um, Advisory Council for Persons with Disability is quite diverse. Um, that is one thing I like about it, the fact that, uh, um, you know, the, the representatives are drawn from all the ministries, you know, persons with disabilities themselves, as well as um, parents of persons with disability. So, you know, what changes will that bring, the fact that representatives are drawn from ministries and just, you know, local individuals? All right. Um, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, um, looking at the fundamental rights of persons with disabilities mm -hmm. is indeed diverse. Mm -hmm. Um, if you look at uh, the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities that the Gambia has ratified mm -hmm. since 2015, mm -hmm. and we do not have actually a domesticated legislation mm -hmm. of such a convention until 2021, mm -hmm. where the National Assembly members unanimously passed uh, this domesticated legislation of the Act into law, yes. it is even more. Uh, it is even broader than even that of the convention. It has about 71 sections. So in this particular piece of legislation, mm -hmm. you have a lot of fundamental rights you know, that are enshrined in it. Um, this is why we feel that it will bring a lot of changes. Yeah. Uh, for instance, if you look at uh, the right of education for persons with disabilities right. as enshrined in section 33, mm -hmm. so we feel that the effective implementation of these fundamental rights as to education you know, can actually be done with the involvement of the, the Ministry, Ministry of Basic and Secondary right. Education right. Mm. and as well as the Ministry of Higher Education. Mm -hmm. If you also look at uh, the persons with disabilities right to employment, mm -hmm. Again, you know, we feel that that can be effectively, you know, coordinated and done, you know, with the involvement of the Ministry of Trade, you know, health, you know, right to lands, lands mm -hmm. you know, and other related rights as well. So this is why we have a composition of all these ministries to be part of the council, to help the council, you know, easily and effectively realize these fundamental rights. Mm -hmm. So is it that you'll be meeting quarterly or, you know? Yes. annually to, to put a report together to send to government. How is this council going to work to advise government? Yes, um, in fact, uh, advising government, let's say, on maybe, maybe matters of concern, for example, looking at uh, maybe reviewing maybe other existing laws that tend to discriminate persons with disabilities, mm -hmm. and how we can also advise on the act of monitoring. Mm -hmm. So we feel that the council is going to be workable. For example, if you read section 13, of persons with disabilities act 2021 you know it says that the council itself shall meet let's say at least every three months mm, mm. but i think uh, in this particular meeting like when emergencies let's say have arisen so we think that at least we'll con consider it let's say fit to meet even before the three months mm -hmm. so right now the council is just newly inaugurated we yeah. have to make sure that we meet, you know, every now and then in order to make it very effective mm -hmm. at least to address the plights and needs of persons with disabilities. Exactly. Yeah. Um, why has it taken you so long to establish such a council? Um, obviously, uh, before... Yeah, I was going to say obviously as well. <laughs> yes, yeah, this is a very pertinent question. Right. Um, Establishing a council, I know, uh, might not actually be easy, but it can also be easy, you know, at least if there have been interest. Mm -hmm. But we feel that the fact of the delay, you know, obviously, although it was not communicated to us, but as persons with disabilities, we feel that number one, maybe there isn't, you know, that much interest, mm -hmm. let's say, in coming up with the council. Mm -hmm. And even if so, maybe other technicalities, you know, financial issues, 
you know, and other stuff actually could be the case. But mm -hmm. this is something that we have been pushing very well as persons with disabilities to make sure that at least we act in accordance with the le legal provision that is Section 8 of Persons with Disabilities Act to establish this council. But actually we have had support mm -hmm. from our esteemed partners like UNDP, you know, UNICEF, UNFPA mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to make sure that they stand in solidarity with Gambia Federation of the Disabled or Persons with Disabilities to make sure that we push effectively to ensure that this uh, council has been really established. And, and, and also generally the fact of the matter is that this federation has been advocating for years and you know and there's something that gave birth to the advisory council at the That's end of correct. the day. You push for the law Absolutely. first and Absolutely. when the law is there mm -hmm. it can always back the council Absolutely. you know but if you just set up a council without the backing of the law mm -hmm. then it will not be taken seriously. Exactly. So I think it really the sequence is not looking bad at all. I think um it's, it's looking good at this point in time. Now it's actually um, left to us to implement because uh, that was what caught my attention when I was at the event, mm -hmm. when you gave your speech. You mm -hmm. talked about just putting papers in a, in a, in a cutter box mm -hmm. and then it gathers well, dust and there's no implementation, form of implementation it's, at the it's, end of the day. It's mm -hmm. the problem that we have in this country. Mm -hmm. But I hope it won't be the same. Well, we definitely hope. In fact, uh, implementation again is already guided by, you know, section uh, or Article exactly. Five, you know, mm -hmm. of Persons with Disabilities itself, mm -hmm. because I did mention to say that having a legislation or law without implementation actually we just tantamount to a date letter mm -hmm. and spirit. Mm -hmm. So obviously, uh, section this particular section five, you know, of the Act itself is the heart of Persons with Disabilities Act. Like if we have all these fundamental rights and freedoms of persons with disabilities and no implementation, no recognition or no realization is being done to that effect. So meaning persons with disabilities are going to stay at the same place where we are. Mm. So one of the functions of the council itself is to make sure that you know the government we advocate for the fact that the government should implement all the fundamental rights and freedoms mm -hmm. because these are you know fundamental rights and freedoms that cannot actually be negotiated. If you look at the principles of persons with disabilities, you know, we also have our own principles. Mm -hmm. These are the principles that are embedded in the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities and Persons with Disabilities Act. And we do not really compromise with these principles. We do not even negotiate with these principles. If you look at the principles, for example, we have what? We have respect for diversity. Mm -hmm individual autonomy and freedom to make one own choices. Mm -hmm. We look at what we call equality and non-discrimination. Mm -hmm. That is also one of our principles. We also look at uh, equality between men and women. Mm -hmm. We look at acceptance. We look at the evolving capacity of right. children in right. order to recognize their food potential. We look at equality of opportunities. Yeah. You look at acceptance, and, and accessibility. In fact, in fact now mm. let's shift our attention to, to, to the right to education, mm -hmm. okay? Because to change the current narrative when it comes to the plight of um, persons with disability, I think education is somewhere that we should start because then education empowers persons with disability, empowered as much as Magistrate Mohammed Kurbal is empowered to be able to sit here to have this conversation with us. Absolutely. You know, to start with the ministry uh, today, they are part of the council. Where do you think they should start from when it comes to um, educating persons with disability, the availability of Braille, ensuring that they transition from early childhood development, for example, to university? to be able to, you know, just associate as normal. Where should they start from? Where does the problem lie? Well, I think the problem really lies everywhere, you know, so to speak. Like the early childhood development we have just mentioned is indeed very essential, mm -hmm. you know, in ensuring the full and effective realization of the education of persons with disabilities. So if we start, you know, at the foundational stage, mm -hmm. making sure that at least we have done some very good need assessments of persons with disabilities, so that we will be able to know the relevant facilities and equipment you know, that are needed for persons with disabilities. This area can really be very broad. Mm. For instance, you look at accessibility. Like if you have somebody who is visually impaired, for example, you don't know what he or she needs regarding facilities and equipment or regarding accessibility. For example, you know this particular visual impaired. Because it's not only Braille per se. Mm -hmm. like if you look at, yes, communication for persons with disabilities, you look at accessibility, you look at our right to access information, like depending on the disability of the individual. For example, in the context of visually impaired, you think of Braille, yes, that can be effectively used by a blind person. 
an audio can also be used by a blind person when it has been translated into audio form. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you have some particular visual impaired who have low vision who really prefers at least the material or the printed, printed text to be on large print. Mm. You understand what I mean? Yes. So all these are forms of communication. You also shift to those um, spoken and non-spoken languages. Yeah, you yeah. look at the sign it's language quite interpretation. Broad. Mm -hmm. It is quite broad. Mm -hmm. Augmentative you know, etc. Mm -hmm. So all these are things that should actually lead to what we call inclusive education for persons with disabilities. Sure, sure. And also, um, if you look at it, um, now the convention, you know, is actually dictating us that we should even avoid segregating or excluding persons with disabilities, let's say having their own school. Okay. We, we are looking at what we call together. exactly, yeah, we Mixing. call it mainstream education. Okay. You mainstream persons with disabilities into mainstream school mm. so that we will feel that yes we are not actually left alone mm. but we are actually with those that are also called able or exactly. well, you know there was a yeah. 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 almost yeah. time there was yes. a time i questioned that mm -hmm. why do people with Need disabilities will, will be separated yeah. from you know other Another schools other. Mm -hmm. you know then they can help each other and exactly Absolutely. Mm -hmm. but uh, magistrate mainstream Kulbali, thank you so yeah. much um do not hesitate um to to reach out to us sure. the council if there you know needs to be anything that that needs to be discussed for that. We'll be engaging you a lot. Yes, please engage us a lot. And then, you know, you can talk to your partners as well. You never know. Sure. They will be, if they have a media package where they can actually come and, you Absolutely. know, take some air time, Absolutely. you know, to, 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 to talk more on these issues and to sensitize, sensitize persons with disabilities. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. All right, we'll be right back. All right. Fast Motor Showroom for your luxurious name brand vehicle. Located along the Bertil Harding Highway, Espas Motors is the Gambia's authorized dealer for Chevy, Kia, Ford. And now we bring you the new Peugeot Model 3008 SUV. 18 inch alloy wheels, 216 inches high ground clearance, keyless entry system, start and stop button, rear parking assistance system, reverse camera, adaptive cruise control with speed limit, LED daytime running lights, front and side airbags, 8-inch HD touchscreen. Not to forget our exquisite Peugeot Landtrek double cabin pickup with 2.1-litre diesel engine, 6-speed manual transmission 4x4, hill descent control, LED daytime running lights. Espas Motors, the authorized dealer for Peugeot. Visit us today or call us on 35-22-22 or 353 -44 -44. Q-Money is back again with its easy-to-use, secure and convenient mobile app that allows you to carry out all your transactions. No matter where you are or what time it is, you can always access your funds. With the new Q-Money app, you can cash in and out, buy credit, buy Q-Power, shop, make payments and so much more. You can also send Q-Money, pay bills, receive international remittances and transfer cash to others. Just download the app from your Play Store or App Store and get started. For more information, Call customer care on 133. Q Money, Sinu Calpe. We innovate, others follow. To make sure your company's products and services reach your potential customers, it is essential that you choose the right channel for your marketing purposes. QTV has the widest reach locally and beyond, and we can give your business the visibility it needs. Call QTV Marketing on plus 220 324 44. 44 or email us at marketing at qtv.gm and take your business to the world. Q Money, the biggest mobile money service in the Gambia, has taken mobile banking to the next level. Now you can link your Q Money wallet with your bank account. Yes, link your Ajib or EcoBank accounts with your Q Money wallet and get instant access to your cash anytime. No need to queue at the bank anymore. Transfer phones from your bank account to your wallet or your wallet to your bank account using Q Money Bank Link is the fastest, most secure, and convenient way to transfer for phones between your wallet and bank account. For more information, call our customer care on 133. Q Money, Sunyu Kalpe. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome back from that short break. If you're just tuning in, you're watching QTV this morning. Now, Ibrahima, 
on to the exciting part of the program oh, yeah. for today, yes. which is the World Cup final. And um, we saw Argentina won France, but whatever the case, France, you know, had to do their best. Definitely got it. Yo, mom, how many four far? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, everyone knows where I belong, but at the end of the day, I'm here to talk about sports. So it's going to be very interesting. Yes. It's the World Cup final. Argentina are champions of the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Lionel Messi, a trophy that has eluded his illustrious career for many years. He has finally grabbed the title and lifted it up in the air. The celebrations were huge. It was a colorful atmosphere at that loosely stadium in Qatar. Unbelievable moment if you're an Argentina fan. Well, sad if you were supporting France. There was this wonder kid called Kylian Mbappe. He's a fantastic player. His performance is unbelievable. Just as when Argentina thought they won it 2-0 into the game, Mbappe turned the game on its head. The boy is superb. He is phenomenal. You cannot take anything away from him in this World Cup. Not only that, he won the golden boot because he scored eight goals. Can you imagine in one World Cup? Sometimes you play the World Cup on two occasions, just like previously Messi. He only scored five World Cup goals prior to this World Cup. Now, of course, he has at least 12 goals and Mbappe 13 in two World Cups. So... It was a spectacular atmosphere. The beauty of football, if you had been watching the game throughout, you must be sitting on the edge of your seat mm -hmm. because Absolutely. of Absolutely. how quickly, how dramatic events mm -hmm. were unfolding mm -hmm. in terms of action, the goals, mm -hmm. even the tactics of the coaches when substitutions were made. Mm -hmm. Remember when France were 2 0 down, um, obviously Didier Deschamps realized that. Something is not working right mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. He made the substitutions, and then almost it was all France. Argentina, for the first half, they could have killed the game even after going 2-0 up. Mm -hmm. Later on, Di Maria was substituted. After he, substi he was substituted, obviously, up front, Argentina find it difficult to get the penetrating passes mm -hmm. getting into the box. Right. So it was a final that had everything in it. In the end, it went into extra time, and then, even in that extra time, Messi first scored, 3-2, and just seven minutes from time, just three minutes mm -hmm. to play, it mm -hmm. was Kylian Mbappe again exactly. who scored that brilliant penalty. Hat trick in a World Cup final. This is the second time it happened since 1966. So, Jennifer, we can talk about this final. Well. The whole of today, mm -hmm. and we wouldn't finish about True. the things that happened but there. But Gajaga, don't you think Mbappe um, deserved like the? There's this award, Moy uh, Key. The best know? player of the competition. The the best play, wow, because Hamaluta, first of all, break the record. Being a Hamne, since 19 what? 19. 66. Ni since 1966, he's able to like do this. He performed so much that I do not see Messi really put in. Yes, um, that's. A point of debate, um, when you look at Lionel Messi's performance in this competition, it's not only the final which is um, going to decide um, who gets what in this uh, competition. Messi had been driving Argentina from the first game right down to the final. Yes, Mbappe had an extraordinary performance. Extra He's got a hard trick in the final. And if France had won it, Mbappe would have won both the golden boot and at the same time the best player of the competition. Exactly. That is the golden ball. But... In football, there are ifs and buts. Lionel Messi, because of his performance, he won five man of the match performances. That is including the final itself okay. mm. in this World Cup. Mm. So he's the one who well, drives well, the case. all the way to the final and get the, the trophy. Argentina. The Argentina goalkeeper was also very good. Yes, Martinez was mm. spectacular. He won, he won the. In fact, according to many, the Golden Glove. Yes, the Golden Glove. He mm. uses his body language to kind of intimidate players yeah. whenever mm -hmm. you know they're they about I to take that. penalties and that is something that has really worked for him and you know, france they don't have some of the most brilliant well, penalty takers the they, they missed out but mm. argentina they were calm they were cool even when it emerges that ego loris was going to save one of the penalties all five kicks went into the net so well this is the well, best anyway. final that i've ever watched mm -hmm. yes for many people yeah. well according to um 
Prasanna Tunkara, he's mm. been watching the World Cup since the 1970 World Cup finals. But for him, this, this one is the best. This well, the generally, best. we are sending some love to Cristiano Ronaldo as well. You know why we're sending him some love? He's inspired a generation. Mbappe that, you know, scored the hat trick. Inspired. Well, I'm not He's inspired in, I'm not by in, Cristiano I'm not Ronaldo. Inspired by no, let's Cristiano. be normal. Why let's did you bring down. Cristiano Ronaldo in here? This picture. Uh, we're talking about the World Cup final. Yeah, but it was Argentina and France. And then no, Lionel Messi of yeah, Argentina won the World Cup. Killing Mbappe a has been a star and revelation. Why do you bring Cristiano Ronaldo here? Because he inspired <laughs> Mbappe. Mbappe, when he was growing up, had Cristiano Ronaldo picked throughout like all over his But room. my problem is why did we even get there? Because it, he's the goat. That's, yes. what, that's what I just said. Your goat. He's the goat. <laughs> your the goat, greatest right? of the, all no time. Problem. Your goat. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my <laughs> goat. We, we all have our goats. No problem. Yeah, whatever you, the case. He's the if, goat. If Cristiano <laughs> is the goat, <laughs> yeah. Messi is the goatest of all goats. <laughs> no. goat. But yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's shift our attention to <laughs> some sort of, well, to some online. They're yeah. calling it racism. You know, because you can see that um, when um, um, Messi was given the cup, he was also given a gown, yeah. Yeah. you know. And this gown, really, for me, I'm thinking he's, it's given to him because it's in Qatar. Mm. It's their tradition. Yeah. And they were just trying to use their tradition exactly. to give it to Messi yeah. to show that, okay, we are honoring you. Yeah. But we and this is what we are made, made of, of as Qatari people. But we see, the, um, you know, there's some sort of attacks coming in to say, a lot of things. So we have to be tolerant. Yeah. World Cups have been hosted in several other countries, and those countries as well had to sell their culture, and that is just what Qatar is doing. Well, so if I, I should jump in here, let, let, let me tell you one thing. This World Cup, once it was awarded to Qatar, there have been lots of criticism, exactly. mainly coming from the English media. Exactly. They're they not happy that Qatar won eventually. Yeah. Well, even if they had spent billions bribing FIFA officials or whatever, yeah. that's what get, got them the World Cup. At the end of the day, they stage a fantastic World fantastic Cup. Nobody can deny that. Fantastic opening Fantastic. So, there you yeah. go. I think we should shy away from that, but who am I to, to change mindsets? I yeah, mean, people have lots of reactions. Here, people, <laughs> you, know. you know, get to decide whatever. But, you know, congratulations to Messi. But, you know, Cristiano also, you know, you never know when he goes into... Where is he transitioning to? We're well, not sure. Yesterday, I had so much respect for Mbappe. Yeah. I mean, nobody Who is can deny that. By I definitely Ronaldo. respect him. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic <laughs> player. I think and he's whatever the, the case, Mbappe for, is. For whatever, inspired. I think he's the next king of football. No Obviously. doubt about that. Yeah. yeah. If, you know, he can stay away from being injured, mm -hmm. consistently performing, I think he has a great future ahead yeah. of him and he's going to break most records in football. Yeah. So the next king of football that you are assuming is actually inspired by Cristiano Ronaldo. How beautiful. <laughs> Your obsession <laughs> with Ronaldo, no you problem. Are I know. Not I love only you. you, so many people. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for a short break and when we come back, we'll head right onto the click segment. You walk up with Diana Solo lost a um, yes. No. Never, never mind. Let's let's go for a break. We'll I'll, I'll borrow it for 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 the next right. World Cup. <laughs> 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 As the fastest growing GSM company in the Gambia, QCell has the widest 4G plus coverage in the country. Three times faster internet speed than our competitors. So switch now and dial star 335 hash and enjoy what true 4G feels like. QCell, the Gambia's trusted network. Medicalia is a high-quality clinic from Europe, which is now in the Gambia. Do you have an eye problem? Do you feel a hearing difficulty? Medicalia is here to ease the pain for you. The first and only hearing aid dispensing facility nationwide, where patients can be tested and treated to recover from their hearing loss. Fitted with latest generation equipment, our doctors can provide healthcare assistance for eyes, ears, nose and throat. Common diseases like glaucoma or diabetic retinopathy can be diagnosed and followed up for fast and correct treatment. Make your appointment with the eye or ear, nose and throat ENT specialist today to relieve any pain you might be feeling as consultants are available daily. Contact us for more information. Visit us at Tropic Shopping Center near Senegambia from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day of the week or call us on 503-4411 or 
Medicalia Premium Care Personal Touch. Your favorite QSAL service has gotten bigger. e Kanta. Now you can loan bigger credit amounts to make life easier for you, loan $75 and $100 and pay later. Yes, you heard me right. Get credit loan from $10 to $100 using EFA Kanta by dialing star 393 hash. Anytime you run out of credit, whether you want to buy Q Power, browse the internet, make urgent calls, or send SMS. EFA Kanta is the service for you. Dial star 393 hash and choose the loan amount of your choice with no hassle. For more information, call our customer care on 111. QSEL, Sunyabus the pioneers of mobile loan service in the Gambia. We innovate, others follow. Terms and conditions apply. QSEL. GSM company minna yiruwa tariyata Gambia Bangkoka. QSEL la 4G plus network ya Bangkok Bela Mura. Andung ala internet wa tariyata sidula saba katambi nyongola. Saul Sahin. Yes, star 335 has command. Yada di kemuna fang 4G sobe on. Qcell. Gambela network lana yari on. Welcome back from that short break. If you're just tuning in, you're watching QTV this morning. Ibrahim, now we head right on to the click segment. After a lot of, you know, serious discussions, let's digest, digest it, right? With some entertainment. Absolutely. Now let's take a look at my brother. Here we go. One man. like Churchill, <laughs> Balde! <laughs> You're making me feel like Messi. No, Damala, you have to Messi. I feel like Messi right now. The system, <laughs> yesterday, the system was Messi, my brother. It was messy -rious. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, shifting our focus um, from sports to entertainment, as we already know, the gaming music scene gets more aggressive, more intense. So it's your boy, Churchill Ballet, and in the studio, I'm joined by... Problemu, Gambia la problemu. <laughs> What's up, bro? Yeah, I'm doing good, bro. It's really so, a nice, you know, it's nice to be here today, man. Nice. So, yeah. allow you greet your fans before we start the interview. Yeah. Um. Good morning to everybody watching from the uh, from home, from their offices. You understand? So, it's really uh, this is the first time that I'm on Good Morning Gambia on QTV. So, it's really a pleasure to be here. And and we're happy to have you. But the thing is. Out of all the names in the world, bro, why did you choose to call yourself Problemo? I don't no, understand. No, Problemo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want problems. Problemo <laughs> is a threat. It's, it's a threat for the, um, the rap, rappers in the, in, the, in the industry. Right. So Problemo doesn't mean that I'm a problematic person, but my music is obviously a problem to people that are, you know, in the, the game with you. Exactly. So that's how it is, though. So if you say problem... You are causing problem for um, rappers in the I'm game. I'm causing problem for are, every who, single. Who are rapper. you specifically causing problems? I'm, I'm not being specific. I'm just I'm just a problem for everyone uh, that sees me as a threat. So no specification. No specification. It's for everyone. It's an open shot. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, guide us through your career. Um, yeah. Tell us uh, which label you were signed to, and how did the record label um, recognize your work yeah. to get you on board? Yeah, so um, I'm currently working with Banja Music. Banja Music is a family-owned record label. Um, they are based in Sweden. Um, and it's three of us, me and my cousins. And the whole entire management is family. So hence the name Banja Music, which is my surname. So I started working with Banja Music this year. And um, mm -hmm. I've so far released three tracks with um, the label. Nice. And the label is... I'm um, planning to sign more artists in the Gambia, okay. in Sweden. So this is just a starting phase. But, you know, we're really looking forward to finding like, more talent in the Gambia and working with them. So uh, what challenges are you facing as an artist currently? Well, in the Gambia, the music is still young. So obviously it's challenging, but um, it's growing every single time. You see, you see that from... Um, this recent crowds that we pulled from previous years right, to now. Right, true. So it's growing down. So basically, like, we will get there. We will definitely get there. 
No. So um, what we'll do is we're going for a short music break, but I'll allow you to introduce your own music. Yeah. And when we're back, we have to discuss problems because here's problem. We have to discuss problems on this on this platform. So I'll allow you to introduce your music video, and yeah. then we'll be right back. Tell them, tell them, tell them about the music video. Um, the music video that um, you know is uh, this song <laughs> <laughs> for uh, you know an artist named Attack. So basically what it is, is um, Attack, everybody knows him for beefing other artists, you know, and he's been doing that from the start of his career. And he started doing that, um, going against artists like Hussein. And but just Hussein. hold it right there. Yeah. We're, we're just going to play the music. And when we're back, we'll talk about that. I Stay tuned. Cool. <laughs> Hey, my man going hard on attack. Bro, why you not let attack death not kill me later than you go? Hey, man, this... <laughs> because attack fans and me, come, mom, he sings in Wolof. So I want you to explain this in Wolof. Yeah. Let everybody understand. Yeah, so... That's the reason. No more, no more, like, even song be booming my whole death in source, even though I'm a... Yeah. Data, but I want the communication to be direct and I want the, inf the message to be direct. Exactly. So I have to communicate with him in a language that he will understand. Who will understand. <laughs> you understand? So it's, it's, just, it's just me expressing myself as an artist in, in, in different ways now, just proving to them that it's just in Mandinka and English. I'm not limited to those languages, but still I can go for Wolof in any way now. Nice. Yeah. So now the problem itself. Yeah. Why the distract? So, like I was explaining, um, I'm a man, I'm a person that, like, uh, you know, you cannot come for my family and then I'm standing and just watching you do whatever you want. And I've been, I've tolerated this, this before, when he came, you know, in the, in the, when he started his career, this and Hussein and everything, but right. back then I wasn't a rapper. Yeah. Yeah, but now that I'm a rapper, I feel like, it's just, it's just something that I have to do. It's something that I have to prove myself and tell him that, look. You're messing with this, the wrong guys. You are, yeah, def definitely messing with the wrong person this time. So, so. if I understand you, yeah, it's like um, you, don't have a, like, you don't have a problem with him, like a real problem with him. But the problem is that he is coming after your family. That's what I'm saying. So, so there I, was no problem, actually. And actually. just not Hussein, like, ST, ST is my cousin. That's my big brother, you understand? Okay. So okay. him seeing him being disrespectful to people like that and I have so much respect for people like that. You understand? So I have to I have to I have to do this. But where 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 did he disrespect ST? I want to know. Well, it's obvious. Everybody knows that. His previous song Jambar or whatever he called But there himself, was nowhere so he called ST's name. I so mean, I it's, don't understand. it's obvious. It's it's something that um you know you don't have to, you understand, you just know that, yeah, this is what this guy is talking about, so 
It's just no, how we just want to know. I mean, <laughs> for me, I don't know. Yeah. Yes. I want to know what are the point lines that yeah. he said that made people portray this to ST. Exactly. So, for me, I don't know. For me, hmm. everybody in the Gambia know who the goat is when you say the goat. Like in football, if you say the goat, everybody knows. Who's the goat in football? Oh, well, it's arguable, but, no, but we have two goats in football. For you, but who, for is, now, who is your goat? Now, yeah, Messi can be the goat ah. <laughs> because he proved himself. <laughs> but yeah. So, so if you say the goat in Gambia, Gambia, we call ST the goat for many reasons. He has contributed a lot in the Gambia music scene. He's, he's broken a like, lot of records in the Gambia music scene. And he's this artist that um, have actually you know, pull the crowds that we see today in our events. He's like the first artist that have done that single-handedly. So that's, those are the All reasons right. why we actually call I him the goat. I um, due to time constraints, yeah, thank so you so much yeah. for joining us. Yeah. yeah. So we'll just get to wrap this up, up here, Ibrahim. Okay, but till we come your way tomorrow, thank you so much. And my outfit is by Lalisa. Thank you so much, Lalisa. I love time it. Time is against we come us. Your way tomorrow it's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you so thank much. You for having and me. good luck. Yeah, thanks.